Breaking news, Southern Governor says, next president must come from the South. Reject 3% allocated to host community in PIB. Hello, my wonderful people. The Southern Governors today, as we've been keeping you up to date since morning, had a meeting in Lagos where Babajide Sanwolu was the host. The last time they had a meeting, it was in Delta State, where the governor of Delta, Ife in Waokowa, was their host. And um, at the end of the meeting today, some conclusions were reached. And part of that conclusion is that the next president, if there is an election in 2023, must come from the South. And that um, they rejected some uh, sharing formula, allocation, and all that. Let's get straight into the news and get all the details. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. And don't forget that you have a voice. Do let it count. Breaking news. Southern Governors says next president must come from the South. Reject 3% allocated to host community in PIB. For the first time, Southern Governors have demanded that the next president should come from the southern part of the country. Arising from the meeting of their forum in Lagos, the governors reiterated their commitment to the unity of Nigeria on the pillars of equality, fairness, justice, progress, and peace coexisting between and among its people. Ondo State Governor Oluro Timiakere Dolu, who addressed newsmen after the meeting, said the forum reiterates its commitment to the policies of equality, fairness, and agrees that the presidency of Nigeria be rotated between the South and the North, Northern Nigeria, and resolved that the next president of Nigeria should emanate from the Southern region. The governors also reiterated and took their stand on open grazing, disclosing that September 1st has been set aside for the... The governors also reiterated their stand on open grazing disclosed that September 1st had been set aside for the programmation of an anti-grazing law in all its member states. They also resolved that funds due from the federal government accounts to the Nigerian Police Trust Fund should be disbursed among the states and federal government to combat security challenges. The 15 governors present at the meeting held in Lagos house and spoke on the need for state policing stating that if any for any reason security institutions need to undertake an operation in any state the state's chief security officer must be duly informed the forum frowned at the selective crime administration of justice and resolve that arrests should be made within their amb ambience of the law and fundamental human rights without them knowing why commending on the National Assembly for the progress made in the passage of the Petroleum Industry Law, PIB, the governor said they were rejecting the proposed 3% and support the 5% share of the oil revenue to the host community as recommended by the House of Representatives. The forum also rejects the proposed 30% share of profit for the exploration of oil and gas in the basin, as well as the ownership structure of the possessed Nigerian National Petroleum Company, NNPC. The governors oppose that the company be vast in the Federal Ministry of Finance and but should be host held in trust by the Nigerian Sovereignty Investment Authority since all types of government have stake in that vehicle. Regarding the upcoming election, the governors also rejected the removal of the electoral trans transmission of electric electronic results from the Electoral Act and also reject the confirmation of exclusive judiciary in pre-election matter on the Federal High Court. The forum said this needs to be done to consolidate democracy and, and strengthening the electoral process. Out of the 17 Southern governors, only river states and Anambra state governors, only cross river states and Anambra state governors were absent, also agreed that the Lagos state will be its permanent, 
Lagos State Governor will be its permanent secretary. So this was what they discussed today, um, and this is where they are reaching, uh, this is what the conclusions they are making with regards to, uh, you know, what will happen. It's interesting that they can still take their stand on open grazing and says by September 1st, we'll be having a serious word on that regards. You know, Buhari, after immediately they had their meeting, came on board and said they are, they are having a joke and a laugh that nobody can tell him that the Fulanese should not move around. As a matter of fact, the Fulanese must move around. He himself is a Fulani. It is the ancestral uh, practice to move around like wandering spirits from place to place without having a resting place, not to south, south to east, east to west, without a base. But the governors are standing up to say, no, you cannot oppose us and oppose our people. Stop this now. We're not going to stand for it. We've fallen for it a long time, but it's about time we put a stop to that. You have done enough and it is time for us to stake our stand. What you've been doing in a long time now, we've been quiet, but, you know, we cannot allow this to happen anymore. You know, so this is what happened. And... Um, they are taking their stand on open grazing. They are also discussing on, uh, you know, security. The issue of security, very important on what needs to be done. You see, uh, this is what is happening right now. Uh, what needs to be done and what must be done now. Because the security situation of the country is rather very unfortunate. People are no longer happy with the way things are, you know. And um, it is wrong for things to be the way they are and everybody to fold their arms and pretend like all is well. For goodness sake, all is not well. All is not well, you see. All is not well. And that's why uh, we're rising up to say that anything and everything that needs to be done needs to be done well. We cannot fold our arms, pretend that all is well. What they have done today is not acceptable. Yes, what they have done is not acceptable. These people go about and pretend like all is well. They go about and pretend like, you know, they own Nigeria and Nigeria. I mean, if you look at everything, Buhari, Buhari does not apologize to Nigerians on some of the things he has done. I, I, I put it to you. It might not end very well. I trust, just trust me on that. Because when you have offended people beyond measure, uh, it's piling up and is waiting for you. You know, leave us a comment. We would like to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now.